All right, guys, it's time for another bi-weekly sales video. I've been really busy the last week, so my numbers will be a little lower than usual. So let's look first at sales in terms of quantity. We can see that ore and bars are very consistently the biggest seller from this perspective. This is all straight auction house flipping, no farming at all. We also have some sumptuous fur here we've been flipping, some Robbie's Tide. We'll go down and see what else we've got on our list. Some old content engineering items. Upgrade tokens, reroll secondary items, enchants from current expansion. We got a few more enchants from this expansion. Upgrade tokens. There's a few upgrade tokens there. Some more enchants from this expansion. We've got old content leg armors, PvP gear from N MOP. We've got um, some Cobra Scale hats. Uh, Phantom Blades, only four of these in the last 14 days, usually a bit more than that. Very good recipe, make sure you have that one. MOP PvP gear, current expansion and chance. Upgrade tokens, blacksmithing weapons, current expansion. MOP PvP gear, you see quite a bit of that along here. We've got some more upgrade tokens. we got some jewel crafting, current expansion, epics um, being sold here. MOP PvP gear, current expansion blacksmithing weapons, old content blacksmithing items, and a few more blacksmithing weapons from this expansion. We've got tailoring epic items from this expansion as well, MOP PvP gear, old content blacksmithing weapons, uh, lots of crafted dreadful, crafted malevolent as always, old content blacksmithing weapons, blacksmithing gear, and some more MOP PvP gear. So you kind of get an idea of the items that I'm selling in terms of quantity over the last 14 days here. So let's compare the last 14 days to the last time we did our bi-weekly sales video and you can see a lot of similarities um, or from all the different expansions pretty consistently are always on top here. Um, there's a little bit of differences but pretty much essentially the same. All right, so now let's look at our sales in terms of highest value auctions. We can see here at the top of the list, Vial of the Sands only showing that I sold one. I've sold more, I just haven't collected it out of my mailbox yet, so it hasn't registered. Very good seller. We see blacksmithing weapons here, the stage gear selling quite a bit, and old content blacksmithing weapons, also very good seller. So we'll go down through the list. I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of very similar items here. Um, Stage gear, seeing lots and lots of stage gear. Some old content items from various professions. Mostly you're seeing a lot of tailoring, leatherworking, and blacksmithing. Current and old. Make sure you're not overlooking any of that stuff. Lots and lots of stage gear. Old content blacksmithing weapons. Old content blacksmithing armor. Lots and lots of stage gear. Upgrade tokens. Some more blacksmithing weapons from old content. Upgrade tokens, stage gear, pretty much all the same sort of stuff you're seeing here. All right, so now let's compare the last 14 days to our previous bi-weekly sale video and see if we can see any similarities and differences. So Vile of the Sands, both on top. So those are good sellers. And the stage gear very consistently are very good sellers, but old content gear, especially old content blacksmithing weapons, all very, very good. So you can just look at the list here and compare for yourself. They're pretty similar. All right, guys, that's a quick recap of our sales over the last two weeks. We are just going to do it in terms of quantity and value from here on out. The profession specific parts are a little redundant to also include here. And we have profession specific guides to direct you with that stuff. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment.